Welcome to Diplomatic Brief please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. In the high stakes world of semiconductors, Huawei is making a move few thought possible mass producing advanced 3 nanometer chips. This is more than a business goal. It's a bold statement of technological independence. Today, October 13, 2025, the industry is watching as Huawei challenges the global order, defying sanctions and geopolitical barriers. For years, only TSMC and Samsung have mastered this level, using EUV lithography, technology China can't access. Huawei's plan? Achieve the same breakthrough with older tools, leapfrogging a technological blockade. Since being blacklisted by the US in 2019, Huawei has transformed from global collaborator to a champion of homegrown innovation. The 3 nanometer quest is the ultimate test of this new identity. Success would power Huawei's next-gen devices and prove that US-led sanctions while damaging are not insurmountable. It would show that with enough investment and ingenuity, an alternative path to the tech frontier is possible. This is a high-stakes gamble, one that could shift the balance of power in global technology. The world is watching to see if Huawei's audacious bet will pay off. The outcome could redefine the future of the entire industry. Huawei's push for chip independence is rooted in the escalating US-China tech war, a battle for 21st century dominance. The US, seeing China's rise as a threat, imposed sweeping sanctions, cutting Huawei off from American tech and global chip makers like TSMC, the most devastating blow-blocking access to advanced chips, forcing Huawei to rely on dwindling stockpiles and less advanced alternatives. Sanctions tightened, targeting AI chips and expanding the blockade. Instead of collapsing, China doubled down, pouring billions into its domestic chip industry and forging alliances between Huawei and SMIC. The US hoped to slow China's innovation, but the pressure only fueled a national drive for self-sufficiency. The result? A dramatic comeback, as Chinese firms began building their own capabilities from the ground up. The stage was set for a new chapter in the global tech rivalry. The turning point came in August 2023 when Huawei shocked the world with the Mate 60 Pro, powered by a domestically made 7 nanometer chip, the Kirin 9000s. This was proof that, even cut off from global supply chains, Huawei and SMIC could deliver advanced semiconductors. SMIC pushed its older DUV lithography to the limit, using complex techniques to achieve what many thought impossible. The chip wasn't as efficient as TSMC's, but its existence was a victory for China's tech ambitions. The Mate 60 Pro became a symbol of national pride and defiance. In Washington, the breakthrough forced a rethink of sanctions effectiveness. Experts acknowledged the process was inefficient, but it proved that determined innovation could find a way. This success laid the groundwork for Huawei's even bolder 3 nanometer goal. The lessons learned from the Kirin 9000S are now fueling the next leap forward. Huawei's journey from 7 to 3 nanometers is a story of relentless progress. Each step brings China closer to closing the gap with the world's chip leaders. At the core of Huawei's 3 nanometer ambition is its partnership with SMIC, China's top chip foundry. Together they're attempting the near impossible, reaching the 3 nanometer node using only older DUV lithography, not the cutting-edge EUV machines. DUV's longer wavelength makes it ill-suited for such fine features, so SMIC relies on multi-patterning, breaking designs into multiple steps to build up the circuitry. For 7 nanometer chips, double or triple patterning sufficed. For 3 nanometers, they must use even more complex methods like self-aligned quadruple patterning. This approach increases cost, complexity, and the risk of defects, resulting in lower yields and higher prices. Yet, for Huawei and SMIC, it's the only path forward under sanctions. The process is slow, expensive, and error-prone, but it's a brute-force solution born of necessity. Their strategy is high-risk, high-reward, an engineering feat that could keep China in the global race. If successful, it will mark a new era of technological self-reliance. The world is watching to see if this gamble pays off. The outcome could reshape the semiconductor landscape. Multi-patterning is China's workaround for making advanced chips without EUV technology. Duvi's wide wavelength can't print tiny features in one go, so engineers split the circuit into multiple sub-patterns, layering them step by step. Techniques like self-aligned quadruple patterning multiply the number of steps, each requiring extreme precision. Every extra step increases the risk of misalignment or defects, making the process incredibly challenging. The main hurdle is alignment. Each layer must match the last with sub-nanometer accuracy. 
process variability can affect chip performance and yield, making consistent quality hard to achieve. Lower yields mean higher costs, making it tough to compete with TSMC or Samsung on price. But for Huawei, the goal isn't just cost, it's the ability to produce at all. Strategic independence outweighs economic efficiency. The focus is on capability, not just commercial success. As Huawei and SMIC tackle 3 nanometer manufacturing, they're also innovating at the transistor level. Their new chips will use Gate All Around GAA, architecture, a leap beyond the FinFET design that's dominated for years. GAA transistors wrap the gate around the channel on all sides, reducing leakage and boosting performance. Only Samsung has mass-produced GAA at this scale. Huawei's attempt signals serious ambition. Integrating GAA while mastering DUV multi-patterning is a formidable challenge. Success would put Huawei among the world's most advanced chip designers. Looking ahead, Huawei is also exploring carbon-based materials like nanotubes and graphene for future chips. These could one day surpass silicon, showing Huawei's intent to leapfrog current technology. The company isn't just catching up, it's aiming to lead the next wave of innovation. The industry is watching Huawei's 3 nanometer push with a mix of skepticism and respect. Experts agree, making these chips without EUV is a massive technical challenge, with low yields and high costs. Initial chips may lag behind TSMC and Samsung in performance, but for China, having a homegrown high-end chip is a game-changer. NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang says US export controls have only accelerated China's progress, narrowing the tech gap. Analyst Ray Wang reports Huawei has already validated its 3 nanometer designs in the lab, with mass production targeted for 2026. The path from lab to factory is risky, but momentum is building. Huawei's project is moving forward with determination and a clear, if difficult, roadmap. The world is bracing for the impact of this high-stakes gamble. Huawei's 3 nanometer breakthrough is more than a technical feat, it's a geopolitical shockwave. If successful, it would undermine the effectiveness of US-led sanctions and prove that China can chart its own tech destiny. This could escalate the US-China tech war, prompting even tougher restrictions and forcing global companies to pick sides. China, the world's biggest chip importer, could become a major competitor, disrupting supply chains and challenging industry giants. The economic and strategic implications are huge, potentially shifting the balance of power in the trillion-dollar chip market. A self-sufficient China would fuel its tech industry across sectors, from AI to defense. The global tech landscape could fracture into competing blocks, ending decades of interconnected innovation. Huawei's pursuit signals the rise of a new player at the highest level. The outcome will shape not just the company's future, but the future of global technology and politics. The world is witnessing a pivotal moment in the race for tech supremacy. As 2025 draws to a close, Huawei's quest for a 3 nanometer chip stands as a defining story of ambition and resilience. The journey from 7 to 3 nanometers, bypassing EUV, is a monumental feat, driven by necessity and national will. Even if the first chips don't match TSMC or Samsung, their existence will mark a breakthrough for China. This move could splinter the global chip ecosystem and accelerate technological decoupling. The economic and political impact will echo for decades, as China shifts from importer to global contender. Huawei's gamble is a testament to the relentless drive for sovereignty and innovation. Whether it ends in triumph or setback, the effort has already changed the game. The rise of a new semiconductor superpower is no longer a distant possibility, it's happening now.